in any moment now. Now we are live. So hello everybody and <laughs> welcome to our NIMSO lesson. Hello Sophie, how are you? Hi Luca. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Sophie is now in Oslo and we were just talking yeah. about how she's going to have some fun tonight in the uh, the good night, yeah? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Play uh, some chess. Play some chess. After a long week. <laughs> That's very nice. I wish I could uh, I could be there. <laughs> Maybe I catch yeah, a plane tonight. Yeah, that would tonight. be so much fun. <laughs> catch a plane tonight to Oslo. Will be nice. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a little bit tricky with the whole Corona situation, but it would be very fun. I have to check how uh, how the restrictions are for Romania and Norway, but maybe they are uh, more more permissive than other countries. Who knows? Yeah, I maybe. just have to see. <laughs> okay. So, okay, today we are going to continue looking at NIMSO things and we are going to see another line from uh, the same Rubinstein that we were looking at. But before that, Sophie has already started practicing the NIMSO and she's won a, a game in 14 moves and she was going to yeah. show it to me today. So let's see how how this happened, no? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I just, uh, I played a little bit this morning and then I, I'm, I usually just play the Benoni now, but then, uh, can you see when I move? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it shows. So I'm actually going to flip the board. Is it flipped for you? Yes. Because I'm going to see it from my perspective. I see it from black uh, side. And okay, I now think. I do as well. So, uh, so I played E6 to be able to play both uh, the Nimsundian or the Benoni, and yeah. he played Knight C3, and I thought, okay, this is my get a chance to play, <laughs> to try the... Uh, Nimso Indian. Mm -hmm. So uh, I went for Bishop B4 and uh, he played F3. Which we haven't and, um, seen yet. No, and I see that he's going for E4 mm -hmm. and taking a lot of space in the center. And I didn't really know if I should uh, castle or play D5 first, mm -hmm. but I just decided to castle. Also, mm -hmm. this is a bit screen, so it's not, but it's, I thought castle was okay. Yeah. Uh, and then he played E4. Mm -hmm. And I played d5. Mm -hmm. And I think I was planning if he played e5 directly, I think I would put my knight uh, to d7. Yeah. Um, but he took first, and then he played e5. And here I um, I went through the analysis afterwards, and it says that uh, knight h5 is actually really good for, like, it's like minus one, uh, the evaluation says, because. I just didn't really like it because it was not, it, it's hanging there. But uh -huh. the point, I guess, is queen, queen h4. h4, now that white played f3, and then, uh, yeah, white can't go uh, g3 because then you would be able to take with the, the, with knight. the knight and the rook would be hanging. Mm -hmm. So um, so apparently knight h5 would be the best move here. But I think played... e8 is not bad either. Makes a lot of sense. I thought it looked natural. Yeah. Um, and then he played this move, and still knight h5 is good here. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes sense. And maybe if I had been more aware about the the diagonal here, I would have played it. Now I know that it's a it's a theme. Could be an least. idea. But knight d7 is not a bad move. You know, this is a move that many times, uh, yeah. many times played. And you, we will see some lines where even. Uh, where you even play knight d7 with the pawn on d5 hanging, so that's... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because you play for c5, I see that you play that in the game, so yeah. Yes, he played h4 and wow. I... That looks very bad, no? h4. Yeah, it looks like he's being way too aggressive and not really developing his pieces, so maybe I Maybe he was afraid h5. of queen h4, but... I guess yeah, maybe, but now g3. Better ways just... to, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, so he... I played c5. And then he played. Wow! G4, <laughs> so it was aggressive. Like, <laughs> it was not against very, Queen H4. <laughs> yeah, but he was quite. I mean, he had like 1900 something, so he was like a decent player. But, um, and I just thought now it's hanging, right? Now mm -hmm. there's pawn hanging on E5. So I took here. He took back with the queen. I think I can just take on uh, E5. There's this theme here. If I take on E5 with the knight, ah. then he can't take my bishop because knight d3 is winning the queen. Let's show that, no? this, uh, line. Yeah, let's show that. 
I'm going uh, to show. I don't know. Can you can, show that? Yes. Can you see the pieces moving? Yeah, now I can see the pieces moving. Yeah. So here, this is what Sophie has. This nice, nice trick because of, yeah. the, of the pin on the bishop. So I think rook e8 was a good move, actually. <laughs> no, it makes a lot of sense to have the rook on e8. Yeah. No? <laughs> it yeah. Cannot be bad. No, it's just. No. Um, so, I, but I think. Yeah, so I could have just taken an, an e5. e5 straight away, but I decided just to take an, an c3 first, mm -hmm. um, which is also pretty good, very good. <laughs> he takes back with the pawn, and now knight captures, and it's just... You're already winning, really, yes. Really, yeah, I mean, he can't do much here. He played bishop f4, threatening the knight, uh, and then knight c6 is just... And he fell into the same really trap. Natural, and yeah, he fell into the same trap. And this is just winning queen over. and over, game over completely. Nice. It was very nice. Um, <laughs> game nice. to give you confidence, yeah? Yeah, it was, <laughs> I realized that my opponent made it a little bit easy, but I think still there were some themes um, that, were, um, that were quite nice. Yeah, I think uh, someone was saying that d5 was... Oh, uh, I can see that a lot of... I haven't seen anything in the chat. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I was looking now and I see that uh, Piyush was saying that d5 was the right move. That's right, because, okay, you don't want to really allow that center to go ahead. But uh, you didn't get a bad position, no? Your opponent didn't play that well either. Somebody is saying their eyes hurt from watching the position. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, because we're playing black, so it's okay. It's okay, no? And, uh, and Piyush also writes tactical, so he, he gets it. Yes, gets we it. know Sophie's tactical. So we just and watched... And I have the... an <laughs> on Twitch. It's nice that we'll have some Twitch viewers. So we were seeing uh, one of Sophie's games now. She, yeah. She's she been trying the Nimes only after two lessons, and uh, she got a very nice win <laughs> of a yeah. boost of confidence. We haven't seen yes. this line yet, but she did it quite well. <laughs> yeah, thank uh, you. Now I'm going to to go here to our main game today. So that was uh, yeah. a little fun uh, to see what she's been up to. And now we're going to continue seeing um, our lines with in the Rubin sign, yeah? because we were seeing bishop yeah. d3 and we still had some setups to see for white. Let's... Uh, get to serious chess here. Knight <laughs> c3 and bishop b4. Okay, e3. Yeah. Still uh, looking at this line. Castle and bishop d3. And here we saw d5. And we had to see a few other moves. We saw what happens if knight f3, right? Uh, yeah. And now we are going to look at knight e2, which is our main game. And we're going to also see what takes, what happens if they take on d5 first and then play uh, knight e2. There is also this move here, a3, um, after which we just take on c3 and uh, we get this, this structure that is very similar to the one that we are going to see in the main game, where you are always uh, attacking with c5. I just... And this it, uh, when they play a3, yeah. um, is it the only move to take on c3 or, or is it possible to put the bishop on, on e7, e7 maybe? Uh, in this line, bishop takes c3 is uh, our idea, but we have seen that bishop e7 is okay. also possible many times. And we are going to see yeah. we are going to see ideas where the bishop goes back, actually. Bishop d6 or even bishop f8 yeah, if the rook I... is on e8. Oh, um, okay. But here, uh, right here, bishop takes c3 is uh, what we do. Takes, uh, take here and c5. Yeah. It's just we get there just in time. And I think the way to develop is also quite intuitive. Just queen c7, they play bishop a2 because there are ideas, tactical ideas, no? with the bishop on c4. So they, yeah. they go Absolutely. back. Yeah, it's always hanging. A knight d7, and we just want to play b6, get the bishop out. Rook c8, rook d8, and uh, well, play play for this structure. White has the bishop pair, but these are not too happy bishops, <laughs> uh, especially no, the one especially on not the one on b2. Yeah. So yeah. what what we want is to 
uh, keep them bad, not allow them to, for example, we cannot allow Y to advance the center here with something like E4, but that's obviously not happening here. We have good control over the center and we are going to keep it that way. C4 is not going to be easy to be played either. And when they play C4, most likely this pawn on C4 is going to be easy to attack. No? If we have rook here and rook here. Yeah. And can we play C4 ourselves? Uh, in some, sometimes yes, but now with the knight on D7, I'm not sure is, if C4 uh, works so well. With the knight on C6, it, wor it works okay. very well because knight A5, knight B3 are always uh, ideas. Yeah. Um, one of the ideas that we can play for, and we are going to see it in the game, is E5 maybe. No, we ha if I have a rook on D8, and I can put more pressure on this pawn at some point. Yeah, that makes sense. And then maybe E4 can be annoying. But we're going to see more about this. Let's see first, if we go back to our position here, let's see first pawn takes d5. Since this is not our main game, we're going to start with this. Now we're going to take on d5, knight e2, and uh, we have this, uh, this position. And here we play rook e8. And this is one of the lines where we are not taking on c3 anymore. Doesn't make sense with the knight on e2, but the bishop is coming back. Yeah. So castles and here bishop d6. And the idea in this line is that the bishop stays on d6, the pawn on c7 is well defended and we are going to get our pieces up. Sometimes we can play for c5 and other times you can just keep the pawn on c7 and play for the square e4. There are two, two ideas here. So okay, what can white do? There is f3 which is the main line and there is also bishop d2 where you have to know that this move, which looks very tempting, bishop takes h2 because you suddenly see that knight g4 is coming and uh, you get uh, uh, emotional and you think, oh my god, I've won <laughs> the game on move 9, does not work. Yeah? <laughs> okay. This does not work. Because we'll see why, okay. because... Yeah. Sorry. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I just wanted to see why. <laughs> yeah. Why it doesn't work? Because uh, white has enough pieces to defend. So knight g4 okay. check. And here white plays king g3, the only move uh, in this game. And we don't have a good way to continue the attack. No, because knight f4 is... Mm. No. Yeah, knight f4 and f4 are two moves to, uh, to defend. Ah, yeah, yeah. if we play... Yeah. Both of them. Depending on how you play, but... This is just lost for black. Oh, this is very bad for black. Yes. Okay. Queen d6 check. Here we, you can play two, both moves, knight f4 or just f4. I think. Oops. f4 here. And if queen g5, that's what the, the other line was showing, f4 still. And we don't yeah. have g6, no? Uh, where we were usually going to keep uh, the threats. And nothing happens if queen h5 because, okay, just rook h1. Yeah, and everything is fine for white. So this does not work. Uh, okay. White has to find king g3, but I don't think it's too difficult to find in a game. It's the only move. No, you don't have too many either. 50-50. No. <laughs> <laughs> 50-50. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're not going to play bishop takes h2. Uh, good to know that we cannot do that, but we are going to go for the positional uh, <laughs> setup with b6 and bishop b7. And here you can actually start with either move. We can start with b6. Uh, and the move order that I have here is a6, which also makes a lot of sense. Maybe yeah. more sense because I don't want knight b5. So it will get yeah. into the same position. Here they play rook c1, knight goes out, knight g3, and then we go b6. If knight f5, you keep the bishop. I go to f8, yeah? If knight f5, we go, yeah, back to f8. Yeah, back to f8. Is. We're not uh, allowing knight takes d6. Here they go knight e2. And already we can push c5. And we are following a game of Wesley Saw here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, with the black pieces? With the black pieces here, yes. Yeah. D takes c5, and b takes was, uh, was the game. Yeah, this was his game. And here we are playing with the hanging pawns, 
we were seeing how to play against them and we were saying that they were weakness and suddenly we are playing with them. Hmm? So what happens yeah. with, <laughs> with the hanging palms? What's the deal with them? Uh, well, they are supposed to be a weakness, but if you uh, have a good position and good peace activity, then they can be quite strong. And if you can advance, uh, well, here d4 would be the main advance that we want to get. Can advance them and get a passed pawn, open the bishops, that's going to be great. And here it seems that our pieces are well placed. We are, we are behind the pawns and we are defending everything. The bishop goes to b7 and feels like white hasn't found uh, good coordination yet so it's going to take a while well, 95 is coming it feels very harmonious for black yeah so let's see it's how a good word yeah <laughs> so let's see how this continued bishop c3 okay and now he plays 95. bishop goes away and we uh, develop the rest so someone is saying that Nimso is a very subtle positional opening. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you have to understand chess. That's uh, what I was saying from our very first lesson that Nimso teaches you how to play chess because you study all these structures. Yeah. Uh, you have positions with isolated pawn, with hanging pawns. You have this closed center where you need to understand what you have to do. You have minority attack, like you have, uh, you have everything about strategy in, in only one opening. So when you start studying this opening, you will have to study all the structures after all. Okay, so here knight f4 was played. And what can we play with black here? What move could we, could we play already? You saying already? <laughs> uh, sorry, no, um, <laughs> no, just what move could we play? <laughs> it just okay. came out wrong. Um, <laughs> didn't mean to sound that way. I mean, maybe just finish development by moving the queen somewhere. Like queen, I'm not sure where, is, where the best place is. Maybe it's nice to still be able to protect d5. So maybe, no, I don't like queen d7 because knight, the bishop can go to f5 then, hmm. or a piece can go to f5. Um, Okay, this is I mean, a question for everybody. Yeah, if uh, yeah. <laughs> if anybody has an idea here, we are reading all the chats. I mean, all the chats, Twitch yes, and I will, YouTube. Me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking about what you said about it would be nice to play d4, um, mm -hmm. but it's not well enough protected at all right now. So. Maybe we can prepare it. How? It's a little, it's a little uh, patient. But if we play something like bishop to c7 to b6, mm. then we have three Very... pieces defending d4. Very prophylactic, Sophie, today. <laughs> yeah, but is it too slow? Um, maybe it's too slow. Maybe you can play. Might be hanging on c5 if we play bishop here that maybe he could even consider to I take here. I was going to say here. that, yes. Maybe that could yeah. be. Not sure because b2 is hanging in the end. But d5, okay, that has to be calculated until the end. Uh, seems that everything's hanging. But the yeah. bishop, okay, is nice on d6. Someone is suggesting okay, g6. Yeah. I think g6, g6 makes g6 sense. And also knight g6 is being uh, suggested. Knight g6, okay. Yeah. Knight g6, I'm not so convinced um, about it because my knight on e5 looks uh, really strong. So not sure I want to trade it for the knight on f4. Queen b6, yeah, Sophie was uh, suggesting queen b6. I don't think that's a bad move either. Yeah. Unless, uh, you know, queen d2, bishop a5 ideas, but I guess there's always nice c4 there. Um, Maybe the rook on a8 could have a better... Like rook c8, you mean? Yeah, yeah there are so many ways to, to improve here. Oh, rook b8? I agree. Yeah, but it's pretty subtle still. Uh, what I'm finding at least is pretty subtle. But we do have a move that works. And I'm going to... That work, That just works, okay. Yes. Just... <laughs> With h5, somebody is suggesting that doesn't seem like a move I like. No, uh, but d4 does work. D5, d4 is working. 
D5, D4 is D4 is working. So I'm going to let you figure out what happens if E takes D4. <laughs> So do I know okay. Juliana? Yes, I know Juliana. We have played a couple of tournaments together, but I haven't seen her in years already. <laughs> so what do we do if pawn takes d4? That's the question here. Okay, maybe we don't take back. Okay, so question. Oh, just wanted to <laughs> make it like this. Uh, then the knight is hanging on uh, on f4 and <laughs> and something else is also hanging maybe i don't know no no what about um, the knight on c on f4 yes you, the knight yeah, is hanging we on could f4 move so. the knight on e5 and then it would be um then we would threaten to take it so i'm just seeing if, if okay. there are any good squares for this knight to go the YouTube um, chat is following your suggestion and you already have the move. <laughs> so you guys are, are working that... together very well there. <laughs> Knight C5. Knight F3, yeah? Knight C4, I think Knight C4. Yeah, Rahul is writing Knight C4. Knight F3. Uh... What do you think about Knight F3? Knight F3, I think, just a moment. Knight f3. Ah, yeah, that looks good. I thought you could take with the queen, but of course the bishop on b7 is um, a monster. Not allowing now. that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, knight f3 looks really, really good. Like knight f3. This looks really good for black. Of course, we are not winning immediately or anything like that, but we have managed to ruin white's pawn structure on the king side. Okay, we are still a pawn down, but I don't think these pawns will survive for long. This pawn on no. f3 must be. Um, must be falling soon. I think actually if rook c2 we just take on d4 and we've taken our pawn back uh, with a very nice nice uh, position. Yeah. Oh. Because after queen takes I just take back bishop takes and then I take on f3. Yeah. So that's where I'm taking my I'm getting my pawn back and I can still play against the weaknesses on the king side. Okay, very slight advantage, but there is something to play for. That's right? good with the black pieces at least. <laughs> yeah, and I have also the files. That's going to be nice. Yeah. So pawn takes d4 looks a bit um, awkward. That's the reason why here in the game, um, why didn't take? He played bishop d2, but this doesn't mean that bishop d2 is much better. In fact, I think now black's advantage is uh, obvious. We have more space. Yeah. And white species are are not finding good squares. Now the bishop on d2. The knight on f4 looks nice, but it's not we saw that it doesn't have that much stability either. So now we go queen b6, a move that uh, we were suggesting you were suggesting before. Pawn takes here, pawn takes, and now we have this passed pawn. He played knight d3, blocking the pawn. Okay, how do we continue here? Another important moment of the game. Ooh. Going to check the comments. Black will be better mostly yeah. in all games. Um, I yeah, think I uh, equal, no? Uh, equal, and uh, there's a lot of play for. In... We are also looking at games that Black won, so yes. <laughs> I'm giving yeah. you guys confidence here. <laughs> and I just saw that Johnny wrote in the Twitch chat if what happens if D takes C4, but I... Uh, in what in, moment did take c4? I'm not sure. I think. Uh, what if it takes c4? Take c4. Not sure. I don't why. know. I know. I'm not even sure what was on c4. Um, and I'm. I'm. Thank you for. But I not. I did not just started playing. I. I've been no. playing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just getting into these black openings like the Nims Um I'm, is... I'm, I'm, Nothing is hanging on b2 because. Rook b8, and then yeah. the, the bishop in b7 is falling. So we can't do that. Uh, I was considering putting a piece in e4. Mm -hmm. Not the rook, of course, but not the knight or the bishop. But yeah. I'm not... I think my bishop is better than... Oh, his bishop is actually okay. 
but I'm not sure if it's a good idea to exchange pieces when... But you have a passed pawn here that you'd like to advance. Yeah. That's, that's Yeah, we can't do that with the bishop on. Yeah. So should we play bishop e4? I don't know. Should we play bishop e4? I don't what know. Do you think? What does the <laughs> chat say? Uh, yeah, uh, queen b2 is unfortunately not working. Taking on g3 is being suggested by Piyush. Um I kind of don't want to give up that bishop for that knight yet, I think. OK, but um, what's, what's the idea of bishop takes g3? Okay, maybe there's a good one. <laughs> Let me just see. What is my Instagram <laughs> handle? It's just my name. You you search my name on Instagram and you're going to find me. It's Raluca Skircha. And one word. <laughs> uh, maybe it's something with the... Um... No. I'm just going to make some arrows. Yeah. So I take here. I don't think it's good to take with the F pawn because then the king is in the same diagonal as the queen. No, so let's, let's say consider H takes. Pawn. Yeah. Then maybe then bishop e4? And then bishop e4, yeah, that's the idea. And, and then if you take, we take back with the knight probably. Yes. And, and then this pawn on d4 is strong. Yes, and your knight yeah. is kind of better than the bishop on d2 no? right now. Yeah. So bishop g3, I think, was an important decision in this position because the way you think here is that, uh, no, what do I want to do? I, I have a passed pawn, that's my advantage, the pawn on d4. But unfortunately, this bishop on d3 is uh, controlling it quite well. So if I play bishop e4 right now, I'm going to give up uh, the bishop, knight takes e4. Uh, I, I can take back with the knight, but now the two bishops... Can you refresh win. the... Um... Sorry. Thank you. Knight takes e4, and I think this is not so easy. I mean, even if you take my, my bishop on d2, we have opposite color bishop, so you're never going to get my bishop out of d3. No. And your pawn is going to be stuck on d4 forever, and here even uh, in the way of your own bishop. So bishop yeah. takes g3, and just trade this annoying bishop on d3. And after bishop e4, it's not so easy for white to uh, equalize. I think bishop c2 or bishop c4 was, uh, I mean, queen c2 or bishop c4 were the moves that were holding on to very close to the equality, but he took on e4 and after bishop e4, knight e4, this is... is the, are we following the game right now with, with yeah. yourself? Yeah, okay. we're going to see it until the end because from here, uh, the game lasted only a few more moves. I think five ah. more moves and it was over. So now, also the point of bishop e4. No, you wanted to take on b2, but couldn't. So now we are actually threatening to take that pawn. Yeah. He played here. And we can already prepare the advance. Rook d8, not d3, because I might lose the pawn. So I just want to have it protected first. Remember that first we bring the pieces and then we push the pawns. We need it to support it. So now he goes here and d3. Yeah. He tried this, queen a5, and bishop d4 was played. And already after bishop d4, d2. And there was something that white missed here, perhaps. Not sure. Maybe he thought this was not so dangerous, but he played queen c2. And what do we play here? This game was played by Shimano versus Wesley So in Las Vegas in 2015. Hmm. Oh, we I think we take on d3, yes? Yeah. And knight, uh, 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 rook e1 then. Yes. No tactics. And I, yeah. No tactics left pass by Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I don't have a, I don't have really have a, a personal Instagram account. Uh, I can see somebody is asking that. <laughs> so rook e1 and we are threatening to play d1, no? Yeah. And it's almost over. He tried rook a4, but queen b5, and now it really is over. Yeah. Now we fit in checkmate as well. Yeah. And the moves. Yeah, so here he resigned. Um, yeah. 
then uh, okay so this was the game of Wesley saw and hold on we still had a line to see here so we were looking let me go just go from the beginning so we don't get um, like dizzy with all the lines yeah. <laughs> so we were starting here think, yeah yeah so somebody in the chat asked who said the past pounds are delinquents who need to be arrested i know that quote in danish uh, i think it was Nimsu which you said it right yeah i, yeah, I, I, I don't know which, yeah that's yeah, a he very said nice that the past pawn is like a dangerous prisoner or something who should be uh, captured something you should take very so he seriously. would be proud of this game yeah i think he would be <laughs> proud of oh, wesley so yeah <laughs> so yeah okay uh i was okay there's another question here how much for this class uh, actually, you can train with me on coaches.com, so make sure to visit the website and you'll have all the info there regarding price and availability. Now, going back to our game, after d5, we were looking at the pawn takes d5 line, yeah. 92, rook e8, castles, bishop d6, and here we saw that uh, what happened with bishop d2, but we also said that there were other lines, like knight f4, for example. And here, um, uh, so do, do we play D bishop d6 before they play a3? Yes. Okay. So we are just ready, uh, ready to get our pieces. Yeah. Out. Okay. So here, after knight f4, we go c6, and one of the main ideas that I wanted to show you here. Okay. What they want to do. In this line with the 92 is of course always f3 like we were seeing in the other games as well f3 and e4 is always the idea but here with knight f4 they are waiting for us to see what we what we do no so here after we play c6 they go f3 because uh maybe c5 okay we play c6 and c5 doesn't make much sense so what we can do now is play b6 and the idea of this move is to trade our bishop for its counterpart here on d3 and we want to leave them with this bishop on c1 that's not a great bishop no we want to to remain with the better pieces and eventually maybe put pressure on this pawn on e3 play on the e file uh, make sure that e4 is not going to happen in good conditions what else is there instead of knight f4 there's also f3 directly no and what do we do in this yeah. position Um, can we play c5 now? Yes, we can. And yeah. this is, was like a test question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since we were always uh, talking about... Uh, um, I was telling Sophie last week that the normal reaction to f3 is c5. So here we have it, no? typical reaction. Now they play queen e1 and we just get our pieces out. Queen e1 is a funny move, I think. Uh, it has it makes sense because the queen wants to get to h4, so he ah, wants okay. to to get okay. the pieces out. Sometimes the bishop uh, gets out that way, but here the bishop needs to stay and defend e3. But you're going to see this maneuver also from white's side, so don't be surprised if they play bishop e1. You know what they want, bishop e1. Many times the bishop goes on f2 to defend everything here. But uh, we're going to see more of that when time comes. <laughs> so, queen h4 was the idea. And here, okay, black plays bishop e7, trying to prove that the queen is uh, a bit awkward on h4, and the queen goes to f2. Okay. And now what we do is play on the queen side. Yeah? a6, and we prepare b5. It's important that, d that e4 is not, uh, uh, not possible. Why doesn't e4 work? Uh, because we can capture one time and then d5, d4 is singing. Correct. So always pay attention that e4 doesn't work. That's why it's main idea. And if he doesn't have it, then we are usually fine. Yeah. But there is another idea. And maybe your opponent from <laughs> yesterday wanted to employ this. So here g4. Okay, when they play f3, you might see this. White is trying to attack on the king side. And this is yeah. going to be a race. You are okay. going to attack on the queen side, and your opponent is trying to attack on the king side. Uh, 
I always find that a little bit. Um, I mean, I know it, it can be really, it can be good in, in the soft the right way to play, but I just really prefer being the one to attack where the king is. <laughs> so if it's opposite side of castling, I'm I'm very fine with the uh, going for the queen side. Yeah. But here it, it feels like it's not where the kings <laughs> are, but it's because we're going for the long term win. I know that. Um, yes, and if we look at the pieces, no, white's pieces are not very well prepared for the attack. So okay, he can push the pawns, yeah. but normally like in theory that shouldn't get him very far we have many pieces defending and there are not so many pieces attacking us if white had many pieces more uh that would be maybe annoying but he still needs, needs time to um bring his pieces together like for example now if he goes g5 immediately we have knight h5 and we've yeah. uh, we've stopped all the pawns so he needs to prepare he needs to play knight g3 first and we have time to push our pawns. 92. And this is, I think, a game of Almasi. Yep. Sultan Almasi, where he played now a5. I'll just push the pawns. g5, and okay, knight goes to d7, but the idea is that still nothing is happening to me. I'm, I have all the pieces defending. I know in a game it doesn't look like that, but <laughs> you have to trust this. Trust your position, trust your pieces. Now he goes yeah. f4, and here we see this idea mm. that I was mentioning before. We develop the bishop, and here it's actually very important, no? because the bishop on d3 is right now yeah, the it's main piece. Move. It's a good piece, yeah. Main piece that attacks us. So bishop a6 makes sense to trade it. We also develop one of our pieces. And yeah. moving the bishop away is not probably not so good now, because this knight will be uh, pinned. And maybe I can take on d4 and there will be, I don't know, move my bishop and there will be all kinds of threats yeah. against the knight. So he takes, rook takes, and okay, just briefly to show you how uh, black mm, maneuvers around, knight b6, knight c4 maybe is coming. This knight has a very nice uh, path, in fact, in the game. Now he plays queen d7. Okay, queen d7 is not necessary, but uh, it's not a bad move. Important to notice that white is not able to push the pawns as he wished here, because the g5 pawn is always hanging. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't seem so easy to make progress. And even after queen d7, g5 is hanging. He still needs to regroup. a4 is coming. And now he plays f5, because if we take, then uh, white can take on c5, and our pawn on d5 is a bit weak afterwards. Maybe we are even going to lose it, no? Knight f4 might be coming, or queen, queen g2. Queen g2 is also uh, a threat at some point. But he plays bishop d6, still not trusting too much. Knight f4, and now he takes on d4. Okay, you need something to attack, and uh, this pawn on d4 is going to be one of your targets. Knight c4. He played here, uh, white, I think he made a mistake, I don't know what what happened. Um, he played knight d3, and then went back to f4, so he's kind of wasting a move, I don't know what, yeah. what, was, uh, what was his idea. Maybe he just missed something. But if, if he plays a move like queen g2, maybe just preparing for the attack, I, I suppose the game will still be uh, going on. Important. This doesn't work. Yeah? No, we take on g3, yes? Yes. Take on g3 and white's losing a piece. And he cannot play something like... No, he can't. Never mind. <laughs> Knight f6, no? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to take it. Nothing. No, I'm, I'm yeah, safe. Exactly. I have this rook on a6 that, that's coming to the defense. So, okay. He plays knight d3 and here he's kind of giving uh, black a move. Just time to improve my rook. Rook c8. Yeah. And now he plays b3. You see that he couldn't find anything uh, clear to do on the king side. Why is he not going for something like h4? Is, wouldn't that be more like um, instead of b3 ambitious? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, and also no, because I think it's uh, weakening a lot the king sign, and maybe. Yeah. Maybe at some point queen g4. I mean, if you play f6, you have to watch out for queen g4 also. Yeah, and then g3 is very. H4 also, Ooh. no? This bishop on d6. Yeah. Uh, is powerful. So, okay, it's double edged when you push the pawns now at the, on the king side. But I agree that maybe something like queen g2, maybe first try to knight h5 somehow. Not easy though. And here, what do we do? How do we play with black? You sound like there's something good no, going I just, here. Uh, I think the knight is under attack. Yes, yes. yes. I just want to know no. what, what we do about the knight. Because, okay, if, if white manages yeah. to get our knight out of there, knight that was quite strong, uh, I think uh, that's a little victory. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm looking a little bit of because there are some themes about if you, if we can take the pawn on d4 and then uh, bishop c5, mm. but I think it's right now it's still too optimistic. So maybe not sure where the knight should go. Uh, you should hold options. Think. What do we do about the knight? Because I kind of want to play something like this, and then be ready to play. Um, we should c five, but it's not forced. White, I think white has time to defend from that. But I take your knight on c four in the meantime, no? Yes. That's going to be um, a problem. So maybe I can just put it back here. Oh, here it's defending d5. d5. That's somewhat useful, but maybe it would be more fun to attack something. Yeah, the thing is that so maybe knight a5, then we're mm -hmm. at least threatening the pawn on b3. Yes. OK, um, knight a5 can be played. Yeah. But a5, uh, OK, doesn't look like a great square for the knight either. Mm -hmm. People are suggesting for the future. both knight a5, Chino is suggesting, and uh, knight f3, I think, is not possible. Maybe it's one of the uh, lines I was talking about. Uh, uh, knight b2. Knight, knight b2. b2 is taking. I'm taking it, yes. Okay. Yeah. Knight e5, that was, that's what I want to <laughs> get to work, but I can't really get it to work. Um, uh, okay, guys, let's, down... let's get positional no. here. <laughs> we are not mating white. No, it's just... Uh... <laughs> Knight a3. Knight a3 is also possible, but I think... Yeah. Uh, I'm just afraid if I can... Oh, yeah, maybe knight uh, a3 to b5 to c3. That looks pretty good. Knight a3 is possible, yes. But another square where I really like my knight is e4. Ah, yeah. That's a very nice square for my knight as well. And while yeah, I, okay. knight a3 can be played, okay, knight a3, knight a5 can all be played, but uh, I like his decision here. Just take this knight. That was the knight that could uh, mate me at some point. And then I bring my knight to e4. Yeah? Yeah. And if he takes on d6, which I think he has to, knight e4 cannot be allowed, then we've traded some pieces and in the end game, the structure will be weak and it will be easier to attack. Now it's not going to be... Okay, he tried something. He played f6, g6. And this is the last moment where I wanted to... That important idea that I wanted to show you is that when they play this, uh, f6 and have a pawn on g5, you always have this rupture, h6. Okay. Don't be scared about it. You're nothing is going to happen to your king in many of the positions, but uh, what you want to do is uh, weaken, like create some more weaknesses. If we look at white's structure after this, it's terrible, yeah? Yeah. 
It really is. Terrible, terrible structure. And it's not that you are getting the pawn back right away, but just king h7 and you will get your pawn back. One of them, f6 or h6. But now white uh, really needs to stay and defend everything. Mm. Oh, he played here and rook e6. Queen g2 was tried. Okay, rook d8, defend. And here he tried knight f5. But I don't have to take. I shouldn't take. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> Just queen d7, yeah? Just stay quiet. Yeah. He played queen g5, defending f6. And here, okay, uh, active defense, rook to e4. Yeah. Because his king is also weak, right? He's trying to attack our king, but our king, if we look at it right now, our king looks safer than the white king. And the h6 pawn is protecting you from the attack, as many times happens. And if he ever moves the knight, then rook g4 is there. Yes, that's the idea. That at Maybe. some point I might be able to actually take this knight. Yeah. And now I want to take on d4, which was actually good enough here. He could have taken on d4 right away. He played queen e6. Like somebody uh, somebody in the chat is asking if this position is, uh, isn't better for white, but no. I think it's this, not. This is already winning for black. But I understand that it looks good for white. If if you just take a quick look, but it looks pretty it, good, but... Um, but this knight and this queen cannot really attack me right now. They are here. They yeah. are close to my king, but I have all these walls surrounding me. Yeah. Nothing is happening to my king. And on the other hand, white's king is uh, uh, more open than mine. And there yeah. are so many weaknesses to attack. Uh, white cannot really break through. It just looks... Uh, Maybe just optically looks nice for white. But if you look at the pieces, it's not it's not going to be possible to do anything. In fact, here he lost quickly, no? Queen e6 was happened, knight e7. Now he takes here and knight takes g6 was the last try. And now- Oh, can we just, oh yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm all uh, like you... position. yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so what do we play here with black? Because if knight g6 works, we lost the game. <laughs> it doesn't work, of course. We play, maybe we, this is the time to play the knight, uh, rook g4. Yeah, rook g4 yeah. and now game's over. He played Oh, but isn't, what if he plays... Um... No. Knight f8, we are defending. Yeah, knight f8, <laughs> you're reading my thoughts here. The rook is defending, so if knight f8, yeah, I knight simply defending. take it. <laughs> That's a great yeah. rook on g4. Yeah, he played here, and after Queen G King takes G6, the warrior king, he resigned. <laughs> uh, game over, no? There is not even a, yeah. a check that's possible here. So yeah. this uh, is something that could happen. White could start doing this, but you have to remember that uh, what you are playing for is active defense, and you are playing on uh, the queen side. And now we are going to see our main game, which was 92. And here we take on C4. Bishop takes, okay. and the typical c5 that we see so many times. Um, here he played uh, a3, white. If he if white castles here, uh, the lines are simply going to transpose. You'll get the pieces out. They will have to play a3 at some point. And when you take on c3, they have to take with the pawn. Otherwise, d4 is going to be hanging. Okay. Yeah. And you get to the same position. Bishop d3, and this will be the game. So, Let's see the the move order played in the game. Bishop takes, b takes, and queen c7. And after queen c7, we are threatening to take on d4 again. And the bishop on c4 is hanging. So white has to move the bishop. Has two possibilities. Bishop d3 was the game, and bishop a2 is the other move that can happen. And now we do this. b6, and our bishop is going out to a6. We've seen this structure before, but now our knight is not on d7 as it was before. And it could go to c6, and now all the ideas that you were talking about, Sophie, with c4 are possible. Thanks, c4, yeah. And knight a5, no? That's why we want the bishop now on a6, to support our uh, c4, maybe. And a knight a5, knight c4 can also be tried if you... I mean, you don't have to hurry with c4. If, with c4. So, he plays rook e1, 
here uh, there was just one important moment that I wanted to show in this game, uh, also a game of Almasi. Knight g3, rooks to the center. I think this is just normal play, no? In most of the lines. Mm. Um, feels easy to to play. Knight a5, you want to play for the weaknesses. Where are the weaknesses? You have these two squares on the queen side. So you just want to use them. He plays a4, e4, needs to do something. And here, bishop c4, because I want a knight there. Yeah. No? Takes bishop c1. Now he takes one once on d4, and here uh, we Ooh. have to do something. What should we do with black? Question is, uh, how do we defend against white threat? What is white threat? What does he want to play? Does he want to play queen c2? I don't think so, because I have rook c8. No, if queen c2. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Bishop g5, yeah? Bishop g5, okay. That's and a big threat. I, and then e5 afterwards. Of or course. just take on f6 and then I will open yeah. your king. So that's a big yeah. threat. Yeah. Now, what should we do here with black? Then there's h6. <laughs> that's there is h6, it. yes, that's stopping. Yeah. But maybe h6 um, is not a move that I want to play. I'm giving white. Uh, I kind of like uh, maybe rook d7. So then we maybe we can double the rooks one day on the d file and we're getting out of the. And what do you uh, play? Thing? What do you want to play after rook d7, bishop g5? Um, <laughs> I want to move my knight. Where? <laughs> <laughs> E8, I guess, is the only good square. Don't be ashamed to say it. 98, yes. <laughs> that's what you want to do. Back, <laughs> back but that's good, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the idea. Here, the knight okay. goes to E8 because you don't really want to weaken the king side. If you play H6, of course, H6 is possible. But by playing H6, you are already uh, weakening your king side structure and giving white uh, possible ruptures, possible bishop takes H6. I don't know, that yeah. could be become could become dangerous. So here Almasi played knight e8, but rook d7 with the idea of knight e8 can also be played. I think it's quite similar. Knight e8. And this game was uh, okay, this was eventually a draw. He played rook d5 now, also he's kind of uh, uh, saving one move. And black is uh, fine in this position. Just an equal position, maybe very slightly better for black because Okay, we are attacking d4, but it's probably not going to be that easy to make something out of it. Okay, so let's see what happens if bishop d3, right? Okay, bishop yeah. d3, we get the pieces out. Castle, and here we see this idea that I was mentioning before, that you attack the center and e5 is one of the moves that you can also play for. Why? Okay, because I play e5, do I really want to open the center? White has two bishops. No, I don't want to open the center. e5, I'm not necessarily planning to take on d4 and open this uh, problem on c1. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to give it life. No. But if they take on e5, that's great for me, right? If they take on e5, I'm going to take, I think I can take with either piece, but this pawn on c3 is bad, my knight is great, c4 is coming, and yeah. I like my position. So what I want with e5 is just have this tension uh, in the center, and maybe at some point, if I'm winning anything, I can take on d4, but e4 is also there no, at some point. Who knows? Yeah. I'm just going to get pieces out now. Bishop e6, maybe bring the rooks, and white is the one who has to worry about this pawn on d4. What's happening? They will have to calculate takes on d4. They will have to look at e4. Uh, we're just keeping the tension here and getting pieces out. So now white played bishop c2. And this is a game of Judith Polgar. She played bishop e6. And we're going to see that in this position, it's not easy to play with white. I mean, no. what are you going to do? 
are you going to play bishop b2? Okay, if you play bishop b2, my idea was to go c4. And I want to keep that bishop stuck there. Uh, in fact, now I'm forcing you to trade the good bishop. And I will simply develop. I'm not taking on d4 yet, but just playing this normal. Ooh. I'm going to play rook d8, knight a5, play for the square b3. So what else can they do? They could try and play something like knight g3 to make some space for the bishop, basically. If you go c4, they want to play bishop e2. But this might be a good moment to take on d4. And rook c8, and I want to take d4 now. Yeah. So this, uh, this could work now. What else? f4 has actually been tried here. But f4 doesn't look like a good idea either, because c4, bishop f5, and here uh, you can take on f5 in the game. Uh, black took first on d4. Queen takes f5, and here, for example, knight a5 was already much yeah. better for black. So what happened in the game? What happened in the game is that white took on e5, which is usually not a good idea. When you release the central tension, mm. very few good things will happen to you. <laughs> so now pawn takes e5, you are okay, helping uh, black give some, bring some more pieces here, but we saw that somehow white's play is not easy in this position. He just wanted to get some pieces out, and now black takes this bishop, now he's stuck with the bad bishop. Yeah, and I don't mind this, no? No, it takes e6. No. This is also fine. It's It will be similar to the game, in fact. Yeah. And this position is what we are getting to. Queen takes. And this is how they got there. And queen c4. Okay, I have a pawn on e6 that I need to care for. But mm, yeah. it's not easy to attack. He plays queen. C uh, she plays queen c six. Sorry, just. I like. It's nice to be able to say she sometimes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for uh, for the players, no. Yeah. So she defends this pawn uh, this way, and I like the queen c six, no, because you're going to see what her idea is. Uh, she could have done this with queen e five, for example, which looked okay as well, but uh, she had a different idea here. So, white played rook b one. What was black's idea? What do we play with black here? I just uh, want a plan here because I think you can play various good moves. But the question okay, so is, plan. what do we do in the future of a few moves? Um. If it's possible in any way, I would really like to put my, and I'm just going to make an, an illegal move, but uh, put my knight here on d3. Yes. How and maybe play c4 or just so it's really uh, active and solid there. It can't really be kicked away if I could get it there. Yeah. How do you get there? I think I'm so, losing you, Sophie. If I could find a way to... You're losing me? No, now Can I you hear you. Me? Now I hear you. Okay. All right, yes. So then we could go for, instead of this illegal move, we could go yes. for <laughs> something okay. like this, this, this. Very nice. Yes, that's the idea that here. Fun? So Sophie is becoming positional now. I like that. 97 and 95. So now we understand why she didn't play queen e5 before. Yeah. I want my knight there yeah. and I want to get to d3. Yeah. So here uh, white played queen b3. Okay, f4 is a possibility, yes. I don't have knight e5, but at what cost? I don't think f4 is something to worry about. e3 is just another bad pawn. And I can switch plans and go to the other side of the board. Yeah. yeah. I know maybe queen e4, this is... Uh, this is also very nice for black. So f4, I don't think, is something that white should be playing here. 
he cannot stop my idea of 95 but okay just uh, this was a, a bad position for for white now he plays c4 but we are in time yeah they, they don't have time to play bishop b2 if white had time for bishop b2 then this would be different but i'm just playing 95 now bishop here and 93 and now white goes rook d1 okay so part one of our plan is done <laughs> and mm -hmm. what uh, what are we going to do now our knight is under attack yeah um and we can only defend it with the queen if we want to defend it and i think we want to maybe oh, now the bishop is actually quite good on b2 so maybe we should consider taking it because we have better I guess we have a little bit better pawns right now so yes that's um, the question here do we take or do yeah. we not take this is a question about to trades to take. to take or not to take that's the question <sighs> okay so the good thing about taking on b2 is that we're we don't have to worry about protecting the knight and the bishop on b2 is now having a pretty long diagonal so we're avoiding any queen c3 uh checkmate threats i'm not sure if it's dangerous hmm. um but it's also a pretty good piece right now the knight, so maybe it's a little bit of a shame and maybe we can just wait a little bit i don't know Okay, it's so kind of like putting the queen here on e4, mm -hmm. um, and then maybe if he then he, if if he, if White doesn't want us to take bishop, he would have to go to go somewhere, put it somewhere. Also, so I, there are also some ideas sometimes about like f2 is a little bit weak. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna see if there are any good moves in the chat. Nobody's helping you right now <laughs> I sense she's not comfortable when she has to defend that's very true it's very true um, who is but who is huh? <laughs> who, who is, is? <laughs> who is people in general prefer to attack I think um, okay someone wants to take the bishop but what would you Sophie play in this position think. what does your to... intuition tell you what would Sophie I... play I, I kind of want to keep the knight. I mean, also, okay. this is like a Judith Polga game. I think we should try to go <laughs> for some attacking ideas. So uh, I, I say we keep it and, and put the queen on e4. It's well placed there anyway. Yes. Queen e4 yes. is the move. Of course. We don't want to take that bishop on b2. That's not a great, that a great bishop, no? I mean, no we, can always, no, we cannot play. Maybe we can play e5 if we want to shut it down a little bit. Of course, we can play e5 at some point. And okay, I always uh, say that after when you think about a trade, you see what's what's remaining on the board. So you take yeah. this bishop, you eliminate this knight, sorry, and you eliminate this knight and you eliminate this bishop. Let's look at the pieces that are left. I have two rooks that are, are completely equal, yes? Yeah. Both of them are doing the same. The queen on b2, I don't see why the queen on b2 would be worse than the queen on c6. And if I look at the structure, yes, my queen side is a bit uh, weaker with white, but you also have, let's not forget this pawn. Yeah. That you need to defend. I will have some queen e5 at some point. And my other idea is to push the pawn and do some kind of uh, minority attack, not the typical minority attack, but I want to get rid of my weaknesses. And maybe b6 will be weak, no? Mm. In the future. So right now, if I'm looking at the board, what do I have now? Oh, this knight on d3 is great now. Yeah, they, they cannot do anything. What can white play here? I'm I'm simply controlling the whole board with the knight. So no, that's that's a knight that I want to keep. I don't want to give it that easily. So queen, queen e4. He goes queen c2. And I'm just getting out of the pin. Queen g6, making sure that my queen is not hanging. Now he plays bishop c3. And what's what would be our next plan? What do we want to do next? Next step.
think if uh, if we could play, <laughs> just me and my illegal moves. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> if we could play the pawn directly to e4, I think mm -hmm. it we would have a really really good position. So maybe we can just play it to e5 and then just be a little bit patient. Mm -hmm. um, and play e4, but, no? Yeah, e5, and then he can't play e4. That would be. Um, Mistake. Like, I could take that, so then just go for e3 next, mm -hmm. uh, e5, e4 next. Yeah, yes, that's the plan here. Because we want... I'm not really sure where the rooks, uh, I mean, I feel like the rooks are, they can maybe, they want to double sometime, but in one of the files, but right now I think it's you don't know important where. to... No, because the rook on d8 has to stay there for the night, and but also I like the rook on f8, so I think I just want to keep them there for now. Yes, you can play e5 and e4 here. That's a very good idea. But doubling the rooks, as someone was suggesting, that's also correct. Yeah, I see that. And in fact, you did, did both. <laughs> but she started with rook d7. <laughs> rook d7, rook d8. And then, and of somebody course. Somebody just said as a spastic finger in the Twitch chat asked if um, that f3 might be problematic. But I think f3, then e3 is. Weak. It's weak. Yeah, we'll yeah. see because White did play f3. That looks like ah, okay. something Perfect. that uh, they should play. Uh, in fact, he played f3 here. But okay. that doesn't change anything because rook d8. And okay, e4, but e4 allows, I mean, if e4 is played, then there will be weaknesses on the dark square. So ideas maybe like queen g5 or queen h6, uh, something like that. Knight f4 is also maybe possible then. Yeah. So e4, yeah, maybe it was uh, better than the game anyway, because in the game he kept the pawn on f3 and it was not so great. Now queen h6. And maybe yeah, here cool. they just... Yeah, here I was going to say that e4, uh, I have queen e3, no? And the knight yeah. is getting to f4. King h1, knight f4. Okay, good position. Not winning yet, but a very nice position. Black has won the fight for the file. Um, and he's going to continue with rook d3 maybe no, in the future. Mm. So, okay, white played rook e2 here, defending the pawn. I think maybe the only way to do so. And e5. Yeah. e5 anyway, no? Because I want to yeah. shut that bishop and have the pawn on e5. Now, if e4, again, knight f4 is, I think, terrible. Similar ideas. Now he played rook d1. And now we have uh, more weaknesses. No, there was e3, but we cannot forget about the weaknesses on the queen side. So here you did place queen h4. Very nice move. Very nice, no? Because now the knight is well protected and she's attacking on all fronts. And this position is already not so easy for white. Maybe, okay, he played bishop d2. And uh, what do we play here with uh, with black? Mm. Sophie is not German. She's Danish. Um, <laughs> Neither Dutch or German or... No, no, neither Dutch yeah. or German. <laughs> um, but I'm in Oslo in but Norway in right Oslo, now. Yes. And if anybody else is in Oslo, I'm going to the good night tonight and play Blitz and have a beer. Um, so maybe you guys can meet and play some Nimso games or Benoni. Yes, or Benoni. I'm open for both. I'm not sure where to play here. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm thinking about e4 because mm -hmm. now the bishop is not on that diagonal anymore. So f4, then we kind of threaten to take on f3. And then if he takes, we take with the queen, and it seems like his king is getting a little bit weaker. And the f file is open for the books, maybe. Yeah. Nice. e4 is the move. Yes, e4 looks very strong now. Um, yeah, and people are also suggesting e4, no? Yeah, and queen h5. Queen h5. Queen h5 was also possible because he, uh, okay. I think the idea was to pin the rook, right? Yeah. 
And I can see yeah, the chat also had Queen h5, being the rook and play e4. That's probably possible as well, but if e4 works directly, I think it's even even better. Um, knight f2, does knight f2 work? I don't think so, no? There was a suggestion of knight f2 here, but I think... No, I think... Okay, there's an idea of queen e1 mate. Uh, knight f2 takes, takes on d2. He wants to take on, but I will take with my queen last. So this is, I think, the idea. No? You want to take uh, here on d2, but I don't have can... to take back. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, can... I, I see it now. I don't have to take back uh, here. I think uh, you were thinking ah, about okay. taking like this and when there's a mate, but I don't have to take that way and I can take this way. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a cute the... idea if it... Cute idea if it works, but yeah. it doesn't. So no, e4, we're just preparing everything. Yeah, and we want to take one of them. Who had the white pieces in this game? Alexei Alexandrov with, okay. uh, with white. Yeah, and he has a bit of a sad position, that's true. Yeah. He took on yeah. e4 here. And uh, how do we continue now? Uh, I guess we take it. Don't we? Uh, no? No. We have something no. better okay. here. Something tactical, surely. Um, maybe we're going to do like a rook lift, playing rook d6 to h6 to g6, but it is a little bit, it's not the most forcing. Um, what else is there? Okay. Uh, the chat has some ideas. Not I'm sure. going to read that. I'm going to read it. I'm going to start with the Twitch chat. Uh, rook to the F file. Yeah, oh. maybe we need, right now we only need one rook protecting the knight. And uh, the Twitch chat the, says that the crowd wanted knight E1. Yes, knight yeah. E1 was a possibility, but I think I'll show it in a moment. Uh, yeah, and that was also good for black, queen actually. Yes. Uh, queen G4 looks natural. Queen G4. Lots of yeah. people. Nemanja, Halul, wow. Johnny, yes. Darius, David, uh, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people are suggesting. Yes, I was just looking G4. at the Twitch chat and uh, Perpetual Checkmate was suggesting now Queen G4, but I see that stalemate, sorry, a Perpetual Stalemate. Uh, but I see now the YouTube chat is crushing it with Queen G4. And what yeah. happens if Bishop E1 that defends the rooks? Uh, with queen e1, uh, bishop e1, yes, this looks that doesn't look right. Can we not doesn't take that? look right? Take on e1, uh, but I take with yeah. my d, rook d takes e1. Ah, uh, you take with the rook, okay. Uh, then we what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Even ideas with knight e5, um, it's probably too slow. Yes, and yes, and yes, and the YouTube chat oh, has it. found it, yes. <laughs> I'm not in my tactical... Uh, and the Twitch chat has also found it. Face right now, okay, <laughs> so I could not take on e1 because you can take with the d book, and if I... If knight it, takes, which has been suggested, moves. this this happens. No? Rook d takes e1. But the I mean, move it's, is... It's still a possibility to just take on e4. But it it's not the most fun thing to play. Um, I'm going to look. I'm, I'm going to look in the chat <laughs> now. Twitch is saying knight f4. Yes. Oh, knight f4. Knight f4. YouTube, YouTube has it as well. Also, yes. Knight f4. And then the rook knight is hanging. F4. There's no way yeah. to defend everything, you know? No. It's falling apart now. Falling apart, yes. Yeah. So he played uh, pawn takes. And uh, rook takes yeah. d1. Yeah. Okay, he still played for a few more moves here. e6, hoping to do something with the pawn, but rook f8. And uh, Juliet convinced him <laughs> that this is going to be made. 
Yeah, it she's is. going to mate him one. before the pawn gets to e8. Yeah, yeah, very nice game. Oh, I, I promised that I was going to show you 91 that the Twitch channel was uh, the suggesting crowd wanted. the crowd yeah. wanting 91. And that was possible. We were talking about this position where you guys were suggesting knight f2 and you eventually found e4. And there was this suggestion of playing knight e1 here, which is also pretty nice because it's kind of based on all these mating ideas that uh, you are trying to play for and on the pain on the d file. Uh, and this is also fine for, for black. But I kind of like e4 more because it keeps more pieces on the board. And this is the idea no? that if rook takes, then the rook on e1 is hanging, just like with checkmate, with checkmate yeah, just like in the previous line. Uh, but here, just queen e1, and of course, if you played rook d3, this is uh, much better for black. But yeah. this endgame is maybe more difficult to play than, than keeping the knight on d3, no? Like, if you don't yeah. win the game right away, why not keep my knight on d3 for a while? And e4 looks uh, looks better. Oh, this position is oh, actually f takes e4 was a mistake already. I think he should have allowed pawn takes f3, but that position is not uh, too good either. It's just no clear advantage for black anyway. And you're just getting some well earned credit in the chat. I can see in Judith's games yes. there are always nice tactics. That's true. Oh, they're just she's she's very aggressive. Yes. Uh, very yeah, nice. I've, I've looked at some of her games, and I once tried to play um, the King's Gambit. Yes. Uh, and uh, she has some really, really beautiful games in the King's Gambit. She mostly played it in Blitz and Rapid because it is a little bit maybe not so solid. Uh, but <laughs> not, not so really solid, sorry. Some... <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Nimso Indian. But I'm just saying, like, if she can get games like this from the Nimso Indian, then Imagine the, the King's Gambit. Get from King's Gambit, they're yeah. just explosive. Yeah, Shirov um, is another player who who used to play the King's India and yeah, fire on the yeah. board again. No, <laughs> yeah. no, Rook F two does not defend because I take only one. If it's about Rook F two in this position, yeah, it's not uh, nothing uh, White can do anymore. No. And this is over for today. And I think yeah. with this we have covered. Um, probably everything in this line. So castles, bishop d3, d5, no? This is what we have been looking at, at all possibilities we have been looking. And uh, we are going to see more uh, next week. I'll see what line uh, we choose for, for next week. Uh, I don't know what time we are going to have the stream next week, but hopefully same time. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next week. If you have any questions, now's the moment. <laughs> yeah. Now's the moment to ask. Uh, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. Uh, yeah, I see that uh, <laughs> people from the Spanish stream are here. So hello. <laughs> see you tonight at 8. <laughs> no people from the my, my, um my students in the from the Spanish uh, <laughs> from the Spanish sessions in the night are here. Uh, the ones who are going to play in the youth uh, online championship, yes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. No, I'm just joking because I don't think they are. <laughs> oh, okay. I think uh, uh, they're just having fun with the with the lessons, and I'm uh, I'm glad about that. That's good. Okay. It's very instructive. Not so many questions. Not so many questions, yeah. but uh, so yeah. Yeah. I think we are going to finish. Uh, just remind you guys to check out coaches.com. You know, uh, you'll have great coaches there. And uh, if you need uh, help improving your chess, of course, uh, you can choose one of the coaches there. If you want to train with me, you can also find, uh, find me there. I highly recommend doing that. Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> you saw Sophie one in 14 moves, so. <laughs> yeah, just, just after two lessons uh, in the opening. In the opening, yes. So that's yeah. possible. <laughs> that uh, a lot of confidence there. OK, yeah. guys, so thank you very much. And I'll see all the Spanish speakers tonight at 8 in Chess 24 uh, Spanish. Yes. 
So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sophie, and I'll see you guys, uh, the rest of you, next week. Bye.